The way people feel they can erase more than a century of tradition with one ill-thought-out stroke of the pen it baffles me. I'll never forget Miss Stainsby. She was a head librarian when I was a girl in Harrogate. Philippa Stainsby. She was what you called then a formidable woman. In modern parlance, terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Spectacles on a chain, fresh carnation in her lapel every morning, not a hair out of place. And you run the library with a rod of iron. You don't breathe a word when you're in there. <laughs> My school friends and I were even afraid to sneeze. It was a very different world. Mm. We called her Pip amongst ourselves, which we thought terribly bold. She had the respect of the entire community. Everybody knew Miss Stainsby. When she died, we girls clubbed together what little money we had. This was just after the war, for a wreath. Her favorite carnations arranged to spell Pip. Very affectionate and personal tribute. Good evening. You must be Mr. Cropper. I'm Sharif's wife, Yasmin. He's told me all about you. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, this is Mrs. Bishop. Oh, Emily, please. Uh, I recognize you from the library, though we've never been formally introduced. <laughs> it, shocking news about the council's plans. Indeed. On the subject, do you have a spare five minutes? If it concerns the library, I certainly do. Then lay on Macduff. W would you care to join us, Emily? W I'd be delighted. Clearly, the spirit of Miss Stainsby lives on. <laughs> 